The Journal of Mundane Behavior, JBM, is a sociology work published in 2000 to 2004. This journal expounds on the most redundant and common life issues. This article addresses the most unconscious verbal and nonverbal interactions. The journal's editor argues that people overlook mundane behaviors, yet they influence social interactions. So, studying this behavior helps us understand the social world. If you need help with academic journal assignments, seek our academic journal entry writing help. We offer credible and quality papers. Let's dive into this article to understand more about the journal of mundane behavior. What is mundane behavior? Mundane behavior means all the daily activities and interactions. Mundane behaviors are everyday, ordinary actions and routines that people perform regularly, such as brushing teeth, eating, and commuting. It includes all activities we do unconsciously, such as dressing, eating, walking, etc. Interactions include our relations with friends, colleagues, and family. How do we use and manage the space in our homes, offices, and all other social settings? These often mundane behaviors are ignored in our society, and that's what guides our lives. These activities and interactions determine how we relate with other people. Mundane behavior becomes a routine and stability in our lives, these activities can also be a source of innovation. For instance, the way you dress is what's all about the Journal of Mundane Behavior. The Journal of Mundane Behavior is a triannual peer reviewed journal of sociology covering everyday behavior and experiences and was published with three issues. This journal explored the daily tasks and common interactions of daily life. JBM published articles on various topics people's view on facial hair in men, books arrangement in libraries, Japanese people's behavior on elevators, the rules and rituals of everyday social interactions, like greetings, ways in which people use and manage space, like in cafes and bars, main concepts of journal of mundane behavior, the issues addressed in JBM include the following, space and place that addresses the library case study. Behavior of Japanese in elevators, social implications of facial hair in men, space and place in JBM, space and place is an essential concept in this journal. Space means the physical environment in which people live. A place refers to the symbolic and emotional meaning we attach to various spaces. The journal encourages us to explore the places and spaces in our lives in the following, homes, schools, and offices where we spend the most time, how we interact with these spaces, ways in which these spaces impact our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, the emotional and symbolic meaning we attach to our spaces, conversations between people, conversations are everyday interactions between people. In every society, some rules and rituals govern these social interactions, like greetings. Certain verbal and nonverbal interactions occur when people greet each other, for example, people greeting someone with a smile. So, in every culture, Certain norms govern how people greet each other, and they include, the relationship between the people. There are people you give a hug while others give a handshake. This hug culture is mostly in the USA, Japanese always bow when greeting familiar people in their country. The depth of the bow depends on the relationship between people. In France, they greet someone with a kiss on the cheek. The number of kisses depends on the relationship between people behavior of Japanese in elevators, the behavior of the Japanese stresses harmony and social order. When in elevators, the Japanese observe the following rules, they line up in one line when entering the elevator. They allow the people in the elevator to get off first before they get on. It isn't nice to push people when getting on the elevator instead of allowing them to get off, when inside the elevator, people should stand side by side to give way to people, avoid talking loudly on the phone when on the elevator, it's considered rude. Social implications of facial hair in men. The view of facial hair in men varies with culture and context. In some, facial hair is viewed as power, maturity, and masculinity. In other cultures, it's untidy and unprofessional. In areas like Japan, people relate facial hair to criminals. So, depending on where you are, it's important to note what's acceptable and unacceptable regarding facial hair. Again, remember that these norms or guidelines keep changing with time. For example, beards were seen as untidy, but it's becoming acceptable in Western cultures. That's the summary of a journal of mundane behavior, remember, you can always count on us for writing help.
we offer the cheapest custom research papers. What are the benefits of a mundane journal? Keeping a mundane journal brings you several benefits, disseminates knowledge, academic journals enlighten people on new research findings. For example, on this JBM, the editor helped people learn that mundane behaviors are equally important. These daily activities control our lives and give us identity, preserves knowledge, journals offer a permanent record of research findings. An author builds on other studies and keeps track of the research over time, professional development, publishing a journal is a great achievement and portrays an author's expertise in their study area, community engagement, a journal is a great resource for the public. People gather knowledge from various journals and make informed decisions. Also, a journal helps the public learn the current trends. What's the structure of mundane academic journal? Academic journals have various formats, though all articles have common elements. The general structure of a scholarly journal includes, title, the first message about your article informs the readers about your research and concepts, keywords are essential elements of your article that help it rank. Select keywords that will help potential readers find your journal when researching using search engines. Abstract, highlights the critical points of your research clearly and concisely. The abstract should be a short paragraph of around 300 words that summarizes your research findings. It details your research, the methods used. And the key findings, acknowledgements, it's an important section for appreciating the persons who contributed to the article financially and intellectually but they don't qualify for co-authorship. When you acknowledge other people, it shows you have integrity and don't claim others' ideas as your own. Introduction, a section that introduces your article to the audience and your argument or take about it, body, where you discuss your key arguments and evidence. All the paragraphs in the body should flow naturally, even with different ideas. Conclusion, gives the interpretation of your results. This section summarizes all the key concepts in the article references and citations, have accurate, current, and relevant references. As an author, you should aim for references not older than 10 years. The articles you cite should be related to your research question.